Goofy Gary likes new people. He can't wait to play. So tell your buddy Goofy Gary who he gets to play. This is, this is a fucking talking doll. What? How the? What? Oh my God! Will she? Is he? Is he? Oh look, we should we should probably try to take this thing down. I mean, it's only a foot tall. Foot tall or not, this thing shouldn't be underestimated. I mean, it was able to get up and stab that high up on his back. We don't just want to rush up and. <laughs> Or that works too. So sick of crap like this! I am so tired of us getting together and it just results in stuff like this! Go to hell! <laughs> Goofy Gary applauds you on that eloquent delivery, but now it's time for Gary to put you out of your misery. He's got another knife! Here, let me complete the set. What? <laughs> Will she? You're. Alive? Ah, oh, now there's something I hear far too often. But how? That thing just stabbed you in the back! Not exactly. Take a look. Hey, hey, that's your monkey! Yeah. Rob took most of the knife. Thank you, my little friend. I will forgive you one reprimand for that. Oh my, you are bleeding, though. Yeah, I think some of the knife did go in, but not too much. Um, here, let me help. Yeah, it, it looks like it's just a flesh wound. Let's say we could put together a makeshift bandage or something. Hey, Mars girl, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good now. Just needed to get that out of my system, especially when it looked like well, she died there. Yeah, and I think I speak for everybody when I say I wanted to remain looked like. Okay, Goofy Gary, I don't know what you are or where you came from, but you're going to start giving us some answers about what's going on here, or we're going to play Baby Tumble Surprise with you. Got it? <laughs> it's already too late, you see. Your presence the first spark. Just being here awakened it. The voice from the dark. There's no one in here. Where was that scream coming from? No, 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 I saw someone. Up that spiral staircase, there was a woman, just for a second. I saw her too, she just blinked out. Yeah, sure. Spooky house, with spooky ambience, and now you guys are seeing ghosts. You heard the scream too. I heard something that sounded like a scream. It's probably just wind, traveling through some pipes or something. It's like the linen closet from before. We're just spooking ourselves into seeing things. What is this place anyway? A study? Looks like it. Ugh, dusty too. And at the top of the staircase, there's a hatch with a pull cord. An attic maybe? Might be a way out. Honestly, if there is an outside window, we could climb down the side of the house. At the very least, we should take a break. I feel like we've been running around for a while. And hey, there's even a bar over there. Brandy for my buddy Luke? Considering I keep having to put up with you, I will happily take some alcohol. Now, that I can get behind. Take a seat by the couch and enjoy the fire... place? What's wrong? The fireplace. Look at it. Huh. You know, call me a traditionalist, but I think fire should... flicker? Or move at all? Is that just an image on a screen, or is it a projection that's paused? There's definitely heat coming from it. I'm kind of afraid to touch it. Ah! Someone, get me a napkin from the bar, quick! Here. Nope, the napkin's burning, even though the flames in the fireplace aren't moving. What the hell is going on here? Huh, here's uh, something else that's weird, the dusty table. I, I wiped some of it off, but the dust has come right back. Ooh, let's test this further. Dom, hand me a bottle. Okay. Uh, here? Oh, oh, not this one. Why not? It's a Merlot. I don't want to waste it if I'm wrong. <laughs> How about this? Ugh, peanutage. Perfect! Whoa! The cork flew right out of my hand! Okay, fuck a basket of this. Can we chill out somewhere that isn't a freaky time lock room or whatever? Let's go! I second that. I... Gah! Ah! 
Where the hell did they come from? Uh, could you repeat that? We we can't we 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 can't understand you. We keep. Uh. Uh, are they ignoring us? And are they glowing? I mean, they're not looking at us or anything. Oh, the blue! She she walked right through me. A person literally rocked right through me. Fuck this! Let's get out of the ghost room. But ghosts aren't real. Oh oh, oh really? Maybe you should tell them that. I'm sure they'll apologize right away. They seem angry at each other. No, he's angry. She's scared of him. Oop, but pardon me, miss. She's going for the attic. Should we follow her? Hang on. That dress she's wearing. I, I think she's the woman we saw when we came in. Look out, that guy's got a gun! More torches down this way. Is anyone else a bit worried that we're still down here? I feel like these should have led to like a staircase or something by now. The torches have been the only guideposts we've had down here. Kind of seem the worst. We're trapped in a weird maze under a creepy old house. What, pray tell, is the worst to assume? Something dark and horrible down here that wants to eat us. We're no bathroom. I mean, I don't really have to pee right now, but I know I'm gonna have to later. How do you function? With a keen awareness of my surroundings and a laser-focused sight on the goal. Oh hey, those cracks in the bricks over there look like a smiley face. Ha! Let's just keep moving. We're bound to run into something that'll help us. Ugh! Or something will run into us. W where did she come from? Down a dark corridor, man. She must have been in one of those weird muted areas. It's why we couldn't hear her screaming. Please! You gotta help me! Uh, sure, we'll help. Just let me get up first. Look, look they're chasing me! We gotta get out of here before they get here! But... Who are you? What are you doing here? My name's Sally. I I'm a sound technician. I, I was hired for the party. Now, now, please, we gotta go before they get here. Sound technician for the party? The one we're all invited to? Wait, what's chasing you? Them! We have to run! Oh my god, are those... Zombies! Dude! Zombies? Cool! Run! They've already killed two people! Less cool. Let's book it! On the plus side, I don't have to pee anymore! Well, she just texted me that they were attacked by a living doll? What the hell is going on around here? Dina, have you found anything else about that voice or whatever Scarsdale was talking about? No, just him referring to it a few times for at least a month afterwards. There must be something more in there. Look, a lot of it is just day-to-day -day stuff. Food he ate, logistics, and plans he made. It's a diary, not a walkthrough. Damn, keep at it. Diamanda, any luck on your end? Oh, plenty. Do you want to hear about the many interesting places in the human body you can put multiple squashes into? Oh, forget it. Minion, I need you to make copies of this book immediately, by hand. Uh, I don't seem to have a pen, mistress. Oh, just use your blood, like usual. I shall attempt to get as much down as I can before I pass out. Erod, how about you? Find anything? Not yet. Look, dude, I think it might be time to call this whole thing a wash. What do you mean? Between your magic gun and my powers, we can blast a hole in the walls. We can all just walk right out of here. You've got a spaceship. Once we're up there, we can beam everyone out safely. Not a bad idea, Will. Um, uh, Linkara? Huh? Oh, oh no, I just, I just realized that won't work. Why not? We might be able to make a hole out of the building, but I haven't been able to contact Comicron 1. And anything strong enough to block communication signals with it isn't going to be stopped by stepping outside. Besides, if what Welshie said is true, there's something more at work here that's not going to stop with us leaving. We need to figure this out. But having the exit could at least... Okay, I think I found something. Alrighty, let's hear it. Dude, wait, I... Ugh. January 3rd, that terrible nightmare came back to me. The same one that got me started on this quest. I blame the small effigy I recovered in Tunisia, a wooden doll that resembles a man in only the barest way. The researchers at the dig site suspected it was a child's toy, but the inhuman expression upon it makes me think it could never be enjoyed by children. No, I recognize some of the symbols written on its leg. Forerunner, Scout, Harbinger. It could be all three or none of them. The language is only barely understood as it is. That effigy reminds me of the thing from my nightmare, somehow. Whenever I close my eyes, I can see the dream. 
Some creature crawling out of the dark, massive and inhuman, a monstrous blob with only the vaguest hint of human features on its twisted face, sunken in holes where its eyes should be, and a mouth in a perpetual drooping frown. The darkness is not its home, but my eyes were meant for this world, so I cannot see the hellish place it comes from. But just as my vision cannot comprehend its world, it cannot exist in our world in that body. The blob slows over time, eventually stopping and freezing up, unable to survive here. But before it dies, it lets out a roar that almost drives me to madness. The only thing that survives, the only remnant of this demon, is its terrible voice. Even now, it compels me onward to finish this house, and I cannot resist its whispers. Dina, keep reading. Erod, with me. We're gonna put a hole in a damn wall and try to get us all out of here. Sounds good to me. And Kara says they might have a way of busting through the walls and getting outside. Okay, let's keep looking for another five minutes. If we don't find anything helpful, we'll head back. You can't escape, Goofy Gary said. Once he gets out, he'll take your head! <laughs> oh, shut up! Ow! I feel like we should just be turning back now. There was a motion sensor in that speaker we pulled down. They were expecting someone to walk this way and wanted to play the haunted house stuff at us. I want to know who did it. Yes, let's walk towards the danger. That can't possibly result in anything bad happening. Wanting things won't save your life, Goofy Gary will- I'm sorry, I didn't realize shut up sounded like keep talking. Here, let me make it clearer. <laughs> shut up, <laughs> Gary. Does anyone have a gag or something for talky Tina here? You seem, uh, <laughs> upset. I'm just tired of the fact that Every time all of us get together, something bad happens, or someone gets hurt, or we get pulled into some bizarre adventure. I try to go with the flow of it, but I'd rather hang out with my friends, new and old, than get sucked into another life or death struggle! Well, you got to admit, it's better than everything being boring. No, we don't. Why would we have to admit that? Okay, I guess you don't have to. But look, regardless of anything else, I am glad this gave us a chance to meet, at least. Like I said before, I never really got a chance to meet any of you when I was on the site, and it's been pretty cool hanging out and talking with you all. Well, thanks. And yeah, it was good hanging out and talking with you, too. Goofy Gary spends time with you. Goofy Gary will hang you, too. <laughs> May I? Oh, I insist. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Truly lasting friendships are built on beating Chucky knockoffs to death. Guys, hold up. What's up? Uh, this door right here? It's unlocked, and look what's on the carpet. That's blood. And that smell, it's like someone- uh, Like someone died, yeah. I say we take a look, what do you guys think? Investigating the unlocked room full of blood and smells like dead people. We're just racking up the good decisions here, people. Hey, at least I've got something I can beat them with. Get the knife ready, too. Ready. Welshy, you good to go? Yeah, I guess I cheated death once today. What's twice? Be careful. Right, on three. One, two, three! <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, oh, good Lord. Oh, yikes. Oh, jeez. Oh, I found the source of the smell. God in heaven. Was that a person? At one point, I think it was. Oh, I see a hand over there. Oh. Yeah, maybe we should turn around now. Mystery solved there. No, wait. Look at those monitors over there. That's camera footage of the inside of this place. What is this stuff? Let's see what this notebook says. Uh, puzzle room four in dining hall. Red and green silverware put in correct order will open doors. Number combination for safe is 10 26 08. Look, this camera is on the main hall. It's Linkara and what, what's his name? They're trying to bust through a wall. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're having much luck getting through the wall in the front of the door. These look like control switches. Shutter one, shutter two. Flip one, see what happens. One of the walls in the main hall just started rising up. Do the rest. I, I think we found the control room for whatever's behind all of this. I'm not so sure about that. Why do you say that? Well, look at the main hall. In one section, the floor collapsed under them. Do you see any control lever for that? Well, no, but there might be something else. Another thing. There's an invoice over here being written up. 
This stuff belongs to Secret Surprise Unlimited. It looks like there's some kind of party planning company. She's right. There's a list on the invoice of stuff that's being rented. Special locks and props, a sound system, hmm. karaoke machine. This is just some kind of party service, not for summoning hell dolls. And it doesn't explain the... Well, I guess we should call it a corpse over there. Let's raise the walls and get back to the others. Then we'll have a proper talk with baby oopsie daisy in the bag. How far do these stairs go down? It feels like we've been walking for like 10 minutes. My phone's still got half its charge at least. Although once we get where we're going, I'm hoping there's going to be a light switch. Knowing our luck so far, it'll probably be a locked steel door or something and we'll have to walk all the way back up again. Father, we descend into the depths of the dark where the light of our souls will never escape. Do you have to do that? Well, I am a horror writer. It's just, it seems kind of... Negative. And we're already in a horror story. We don't need you to supply the narration for it. And if you insist on supplying it anyway, could you try something a little more uplifting? Well, I, I suppose I could try. <clears throat> the descent into the dank abyss of this cursed house is a pleasant one. The eternal agony that awaits us is probably not so bad, like watching a trashy reality show that only had one season on repeat. Eventually we'll get used to it. How was that? Well, it, it is better. Keep working on it, bud. I shall endeavor to perfect it. I think we've reached the bottom. It looks like there's a door there. If this one's locked too... Nope. Seems to open just fine. Careful. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's be quiet, everybody. Right. Ooh. Is that a lab down there? Straight down to a Universal Frankenstein movie. He even has a- HOLY SHIT THAT'S A MONSTER! Shh, 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 shh. Sorry, sorry. Just look at that thing. Are those metal plates in its chest? Forget that! What's going on with his head? It's like someone stuck a fishbowl on it and put a brain inside it. More like two brains stacked on top of each other. What the hell is that thing? Look upon its hands. Those appendages are not from anything on this earth. On one, the claws of some great beast. And on the other, some kind of mechanical segments. This creature is both man and machine. Shh, shh, stop reciting poetry. Someone's coming. Was that you I heard, my creation? I shall have to pump more sedatives into you. We are not yet ready. Do you think we should talk to him? It's a bloody mad scientist making a monster. Do you think you should talk to him? He's probably the one who brought us all here. Maybe he wants to harvest us for parts for that... thing. I guess, but, well, the thing looks pretty... done? It's like saying a Ken doll that's had He-Man parts welded onto it is done. No, no, I, I, I see what he means. The components are not haphazardly slapped on. There is a clear design aesthetic in it. No loose connections or parts missing. This creature was meant to look like this. Your time will come soon, my creation. The boy is growing in strength. With each second that passes, it grows louder and stronger. Those fools upstairs have roused it. The boys shall be free. Oh, to hear its beautiful song, not just in my head, but my actual ears. I pity you, my creation. You shall never hear the melody of the voice. For so many years it has filled me, inspired me, given me the knowledge to create you. It will all be over soon. Everything will be over soon. And this universe will shatter upon hearing the voice. That's generally not a good sign. Would you like me to resume being uplifting? Ugh, what is that, four times now? Five. At least. <sighs> That's where I lost count. It's like watching the same damn YouTube clip over and over. We get it! You were horribly murdered! Can we move on? There is no reason to be so glib about it. This is terrible. I, I know, I know, but there is anything we can do about it. 
They keep doing the same thing over and over. They talk. We can't understand them. Woman runs up the stairs. He pulls out the gun to shoot her. She screams. Rinse and repeat. We should probably move on. I'm rested now and it's not like we want to get drunk while we wander these halls. knew what it was all about. Ugh, we do now. What do you mean? I just got off the phone with Dina. She's updated me on the current status of everything else going on. Her, Linkara, Ira, Diamanda, and her minion are all in the library. She's been reading Scarsdale's journal and our ghosts are mentioned in it. Or at least who they were when they were alive. Who were they? The man was one of Scarsdale's friends. A fellow explorer named Anderson who frequently came by to talk about the latest round of artifacts they had both collected. The woman was a maid named Emma who usually did upkeep on Scarsdale's collection, keeping the artifacts clean and well-preserved and all that. The instant Anderson saw her for the first time though, he insisted Scarsdale fire her, kept ranting and raving about her whenever he noticed her to the point where during one occasion he had to throw him out of the house. Whatever the reason was, one night he came by to the house to see Scarsdale. He wasn't there and asked to wait, then snuck off to the study and shot her on those stairs. He then calmly walked back to the main hall and shot himself. Jeez, did they ever figure out why he did it? Nope. Scarsdale speculated that maybe they were having an affair or something before she came to work at the house, but nothing was confirmed. And we're seeing this same violent horror on repeat. Their souls may never rest. There must be something we can do. Uh, yeah, Anderson walked through me like he had no clipping turned on. There ain't nothing we can do. Oh god, they're starting again. Bloody hell, sod off, you crazy bastard! What the- Did they just react to that? Dom, throw another. Right away, bud! Ugh. The way they're talking sounds different. They're, they're definitely reacting to it. But she's still heading up the stairs. She's still going to get shot. But we were able to affect them. Maybe there is something we can do to stop this haunting. <sighs> so nice to be away from that smell. Yeah, and it sounds like Bargain Bin Chucky's finally running out of batteries. Thanks for carrying him for a bit, Chaos D1. He was getting heavy. Yeah, no problem. Find anything else interesting in those documents? Not much. A lot of it is innocent enough. They handled the catering. There was supposed to be skeletons and fake body parts dropping down in one room that would provide clues. Oh, Nella, I found the connection and Wi-Fi password they were using. Try ROOM13 SURPRISE. All caps, no spaces, numbers for the 13. On it! What's that for? Their software can be remotely accessed with an app. We just need the password for it. But what could that do? For whatever reason, they had a camera in their own office back there. If I play back the footage, I think we can find out what happened in there. I... Oh. What is it? Oh, it, um... I don't think you want to see this. Show us. Oh, if you insist, take it. Okay, those five look like they just heard something. But then... Oh, oh man. I think I'm gonna be sick. They're just tearing that guy apart. Thank you for describing it out loud. That's very helpful. But yeah, I think we just figured out where the remains came from. Look, there's another woman who didn't attack. She ran out the door. And they're chasing her. They, they could still be around here. All right, everybody, stay alert. We don't know what could hit us next. Never mind what comes to hit, because it's time to die, you vile litwits. Look out, he's loose! Run, 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 you'll all stay fit. At least until your throats I slit. Ugh, kinda getting sick of the Dr. Seuss horror character here. Well, she, throw the monkey! I thought you'd never ask. <gasps> Durable, aren't you? Ugh, the voice's power fuels my form. I can't be killed or burned or torn. And yet... Ugh, ugh. You apparently can be squished. And you feel pain. And you can still most certainly be stabbed. You will be the first to die. Soon you all will moan and cry. 
Yeah, yeah, but until then, are you gonna behave? Take your eyes and cut your nose, slice your ears, and bleed your toes! I don't want to just leave this thing here, but if he's gonna keep being a risk like this... No worries, we can put him in another bag. See, I made sure to grab something else when we were in that office. This ought to keep him contained. And quiet. Oh dear, now I cannot slice and dice. Now I can't serve you with... I... I think we lost them. Or bought ourselves some time. They're probably following the same lights we are. Maybe we should go off the path then. No. R remember, the last two times we tried were just dead ends. We don't want to be cornered. Okay. Then I'm in the let's follow the same path that the zombies can follow in Ida's camp. Look. Well, we've got a minute to breathe here. You said your name was Sally? E yeah. Yeah. What, what the hell's going on around here? Where did those zombies come from? How did you get down here? Uh, they, they were my friends, co-workers. We're, we're part of a party company, a secret surprise unlimited. We help do planning and set up a big parties for people, you know, birthdays, celebrations, all that stuff. We've been watching most of you since you got here. What kind of party has people monitoring us? Surprise parties, mostly. We set up some shutters, false walls to drop down, you know, separate everyone into smaller groups. And then you'd all be led through various games and activities, like you know, solving puzzles, overcoming obstacles, and... Oh, and then you get prizes for how quickly you solved it. We went with, like, a horror theme because of the reputation of the Scarsdale Manor, but things have been going wrong since it all started. How do you mean? Uh, for one thing, that earthquake or whatever? That was not us. It prematurely brought down the shutters and far faster than we would have done so. But we also didn't drop you guys down here, cause each wall was supposed to lead you to a different part of the house for, you know, your games and stuff. We had no idea there was like a trap door or anything like that. We don't have any cameras down here. We thought it was too dangerous to do anything in a damp stone maze. So wait, you're not the ones who lit this path? No! And then the electronics start going haywire in general. Doors will still automatically open for people, but they got stuck. Pre-recorded spooky messages were supposed to play when you passed by a sensor to lead you to, you know, the right path, but none of them were going off. And then, oh God. Easy, take your time. And then when I was monitoring the audio in, in one segment, like everyone else in, in the control room got up. They attacked Alex and, and, and God, they, they tore him apart. I went to the backup control room, but everyone was there was like that too. And then they started chasing me and the only door that would open led me down here. So there is a way out of here. Could you lead us back to it? I'm sorry, but like I've turned myself around so many times with the, you know, with those people chasing me. I have no idea which way it was. Plus we'd probably end up running back into those zombies. So win-win. How is that win-win? You ever see a zombie movie where people survive by running away from the zombies or hiding from the zombies? They always win by fighting the zombies. I think World War Z might have something to say about that. Yeah, but that's the book, not the movie. Ugh. <laughs> I am not going back that way. I don't want to die. It's okay. We're not going back. Look, just one last question. You said you were hired to do this party and stuff? Y yes Who was it that hired you? Soon, yes, very soon, my creation. The Voice has promised us a part of this new world, and it's all thanks to me. And to you. <laughs> This guy's nuttier than a Snickers bar. We should wait for him to go back into the other room, and then sneak down and try and find another way out. No, no, look around. That door is the only way in or out of this room. Assuming that's not just an office, that door he came from is the only way we can go. With you as its body, my creation, the voice will finally be able to escape this accursed place. <laughs> okay, not crazy people meeting. Shut the door. Just what in the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride version of hell is that guy talking about? Something about a voice and that 
thing down there is connected to... None, none of this is making sense. On the contrary, all of this is starting to make sense. You know, I could have sworn I said not crazy people. But the creature that gentleman is referring to, I know what it is. How do you know? I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. It's my job to know these things. Oh, that's what the HP stands for. All right, so what is it? When Scarsdale and his assistant fled this house, the reason they gave for sealing it up was that they had unwittingly brought power to a creature trapped on this spot. This being came from another dimension, a dark, twisted, powerful horror that wanted to take this world for its own as it had done countless times before. The problem is that our universe is too different from its original. Its body could not survive here. All that was left of it was its voice. Its voice? How the hell does that work? What, was it gargling at the time of its death and just its throat muscles managed to stay intact? Because it's not like us. It's not like anything on this earth. It exists now as living sound with only a fraction of its former capacities. It can influence, whisper in our minds, make a weaker mind listen and obey as it did with Scarsdale. I believe that madman down there has been called by it to do its bidding. And what exactly is it bidding? I think he's trying to create a body for the voice, a new form to inhabit and walk right out of here and take this world as it always intended. Why didn't you warn us? I've been doing nothing but warn you people since we set foot in this accursed place. No, 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 no. You have just been cryptically shouting omens of doom and gloom. Why didn't you just say, this house is home to an evil demon thing. We shouldn't go inside. Because I... Oh, I suppose I hadn't thought about that. Oh, well, he hadn't thought of that. Of course that makes everything... I could throttle you right now! Easy, easy. Okay, Howie. Do you know how we can stop it? No, I'm afraid I, I don't. I, though, I suppose a good first step would be to not let the voice take over that creature's body. <sighs> Gotta say, this has been my least favorite Haunted Mansion refurb so far. Okay, we don't have any axes or anything, but he did use a sedative on that thing. Maybe we could just pump it full of enough chemicals that it melts itself from- Hello? Hey, Bob, put us on speaker. I'm done. How are you guys holding up? Oh, you won't believe what we found out. Oh yeah? Well, let me tell you what we've found out first. Let's see. May 8th. The maze is finally completed. Despite my insistence that there not be any method of lighting the underground tunnels, the construction team insisted on installing torches along the walls. I dare not enter the maze myself to remove them lest I unwittingly... Oh, you guys are back. How'd it go? Lousy. We poured energy onto a wall for five straight minutes and didn't even scratch the paint. Good news is that Mars Girls Group found the control mechanisms for those walls and lifted them up, so we can get back together with everybody. Bad news is that the one covering the front door didn't go up. We're still trapped. How's it going in here? Nothing to help us get out, but I think I'm starting to understand what Scarsdale was trying to do here. You see- Hold that thought. Talk to me, Swade. Linkara, please switch to speakerphone. Okay, but why? Please just do it. We want everyone to hear this. Go ahead, we're all here. As are all the rest of us. We all want to hear what you have to say about this. About what? Linkara, we've come across a woman named Sally. She was a sound technician for a company that provides catering, planning, and entertainment for parties. Her group is responsible for a few of the things we've run into, like the walls that came down in the main hall. She just told us all who it was who invited us here. And after everything we've been through since we got here, getting separated, fighting killer dolls, being chased by zombies, and now we're hearing there's some kind of ancient demon creature waiting to be reborn into this world and lay waste to it? Well, I've just got to ask you, Linkara, why did you do it? Why did you invite us all to this haunted, zombie-infested, demon-possessed hellmouth of a house? 